Hello everyone, my name is Osman Courier. In the last episode, I just noticed I didn't have my audio on. What the fuck? No, now this series I'm going to be creating every Tuesday, replacements of Roblox series, but I'll, I'll probably try to do Roblox at the same time as Banish. For those who like Roblox, please stay tuned for further announcements about me doing still doing Roblox on my channel. For now, let's we'll start with Banish. Again, I need a restart, so let's go and make our town Blunderville again. So in this series is made to help people who are stuck with the game, and I will be your guy, basically, throughout the series. So if you want well if you want me to continue helping you in this in Banished and continue making this series for you, then slap that like button and I'll I'll appreciate it very much. And if you want to see more videos such as that, click that subscribe button. And your feedback is well appreciated. Let's get this started. Okay, so I got this game a while ago, and at first it was difficult because the first time I failed, but then I started to watch these videos. Um, what the, what the fuck is banished by Toe Biscuit, and also watch them play some series, watch Sips. Sips, those who, know, who do not know who Sips is, he is a member of the O's cast, and I saw him do a little bit of his Let's Play. And, yeah, let's get to start. Now, first off, if you're going to start in a large valley, I recommend you to do that. Alright, before I start building my... start doing my magic, the first thing I want to announce is that, in Banished, if you... you need to plan things out, so... If I were you, I would pause the game and think this through, like I'm doing right now. And Banish is a survival simulation game. Oh yes, I forgot to say that. Um, so, in the beginning of the game, I think it's best that you start to make two gathering huts, two, like, one hunting ground, and one herbalist. I am not such a good vocation, but I think the best is that we make our herbalist and gathering gather huts right over here. And we can get our materials from making a, a bridge through here and start fishery here so we can get some fish. <coughs> so let's go into re to resources production. It's best to always place your herbalist in the beginning of the game just so that you're not screwing during the first winter. Or screw in general actually. Oh my my I forgot. I forgot to put this up. <laughs> Bonville. <laughs> Whatever. So let's, let's begin this here. We're still in pause, so that's good. So I think it's best if I put my herbalist right over here. Yes, I know it's pretty far from the village, but... <coughs> <coughs> oh my god, I'm sick. I'm sorry. Um, the thing about Banish is that Using your herbalist is the way of effectiveness. So I can place my gatherer's hut right here, right here. Now what's farming animal we start today? Chickens. Hunting cabin, I think it should be out here. What do we have starting for crops? Pota potatoes and pumpkins. Let's start with potatoes. So we need two farmers for this. And we will also assign some builders to get us resources. Now the rest, however, we need to collect resources, so let's make case of this area, so we just have en enough material. And also connect the roads, because connecting roads to your uh, buildings is really important. Because if you have a herbalist, pasture, blacksmith, or any ma building that creates manufactured goods, you should always create a road connecting to, the wa to a warehouse or, st or a barn. So I'm going to create another stockpile, just so I'm not screwed in the, in the long run. 
and let's hit play. And also, I think after we create our huts here, it's best if we early spring. Ooh, a, a very cold start. Let them do their work. It won't hurt ya. Now, right here, they're starting to build the hunting cabin, which is okay to start off with. No, I think it's best if we start creating our woodcutter because you should create your woodcutter and your herbalist in the beginning of the game so you're not screwing your first winter tip there all right we already ha we have 12 pops I think you should start on easy if I were, if I were you and I'm trying to get trying to get the achievement for is maintain happiness for 10 for maintain average health for 10 years In the, in, this, in, the, in the NPCs in this game are really intelligent. That is because when, because if you tell an NP, the, the, the adults will do, will not IDL. If they IDL, you have to give them a, a uh, um, a, 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 uh, instruction, like, build this, or collect resources, or go there, etc. <laughs> and if you really want your, a, a village to thrive into a city, you'll probably have to put in about, like, a lot of time into this game. Actually, never mind, what? Give my workers less of a t hard time. Now, when connecting your herbalist to your village uh, it's best if you use a straight path and not a jogged path like the ape but the computer does so that's why I'm gonna probably do like this a long straight path Builders do the work. Get some food in. Now let's speed them up again. 
we don't, I'm trying not to worry about food now, I'm worrying about surviving the first winter, that's what I'm usually going to worry about. That's what you should usually worry about in your first winter otherwise. I think it's best if you use a stone road. In my opinion. Also, when you're building houses, I recommend you that you build stone houses because you get 40% off of using firewood for that, for stone houses, even though they're mo quite expensive. And stone. These guys will keep working their butts off until the, the, perfor the performance is done. Now most of our workers will be put into fit, put into gathering huts. Also, may I not remind you that you should also have your your herbalist gatherers up and lodge in a lodge cabin camp like your lodge camp near, near to each other so your villagers can easily access it like nearby like like my setup right here There we go. And warning, you should not build advanced buildings until later, 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 later on to the game. Your main focus is to keep them closed, give them weapons, food, feed them, and keep them warm. I mean, clothe them and keep them warm by firewood. And give them a variety of food. That's what, the, what makes, what increase the happiness in your, in your village. Ooh, even our Ersi became a, a, an adult, and now she's a labor. Woohoo! We rejoice. 